horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Folks, on a scale of 1 to, I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. How much do you love spinach? Let me know in the comments. And why am I asking you this? Well, that's because we are making a delicious and easy keto breakfast using some spinach. This is my keto bacon and spinach egg cup recipe. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. I'm going to start by getting my pan on the stove and adding in two strips of bacon. You want to cook the bacon to your liking. Some people want their bacon so crisp that it feels like you are eating glass and others prefer to have it chewy like they are eating bubble gum. I like mine somewhere in the middle. Anyway, let that bacon sizzle and cook and if you don't eat bacon, you can use turkey bacon, maybe some chicken salami, any cold cut will do. Once that's done, remove it from the pan. Now chances are you will have some bacon fat left in the pan. You don't need a lot so I'm going to remove like one spoon of that bacon fat and set it aside. I will now quickly chop up some spinach. You can use baby spinach if you like and if you don't like spinach you can use mushrooms or any vegetable of your choice like bell peppers or shredded cabbage. Then I add the spinach into the pan which has some of that bacon fat still left over. I season it with some salt, some pepper and now I cook it till the spinach wilts down, releases its water and that water dries up. Remember, it's important to cook out as much of the moisture from the vegetables as possible. Once that's done, I'll add in a nice tablespoon of sour cream. Then I'll turn off the heat and give everything a good mix. Basically, we're making a creamy spinach mixture. You can also use cream cheese if you don't like sour cream or you can also use coconut cream to make it dairy free. Once that's mixed in well, I'm just going to put that into a bowl and set it aside and let it cool down. That is some tasty looking cream spinach. Now I will quickly chop up my bacon as well and preheat my oven to 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit. In a mixing bowl, I will crack two eggs, season it with salt, some black pepper and a pinch of paprika and then give it all a good mix or as I like to say beat it just beat it just beat it then I add in my chopped up bacon and the cream spinach as well and then you got to give it one final good mix now I'm going to get a ramekin and brush it with some of that reserved bacon fat oh yeah we aren't going to let any of that go to waste my friends once you've greased the ramekin, it's time to pour in that egg mixture. Now obviously I should have probably split this into two ramekins since it's quite full but oh well. Anyway just pop it into the microwave for 90 seconds if you don't have an oven. Otherwise put it in the oven for about 15 to 18 minutes till it's cooked all the way through. Now that baby is gonna rise up in the oven and as you can see mine has spilled over a little bit so I really should have split that into two ramekins so make sure you don't make the same mistake that I did. After 17 minutes and 42 seconds mine was done and ready and that looks absolutely gorgeous. These little breakfast egg cups are fast becoming my favorite go-to breakfast. So easy to make. Anyway, I can't let you go without digging into that egg cup and showing you exactly what's inside. It's just packed full of spinach and bacon and all the deliciousness that you need to start your day. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, time to taste. Alright folks, it's time to taste the spinach and bacon egg cup. And look who's back and joining me for the tasting today. It's my dad, Mickey Makija. It's been almost six months since this boy flew the coop. And I happen to be here and he's ready to give me something to taste. Let's hope he hasn't lost his touch. Yes, let's dig into the spinach and bacon egg cup. And it's meant to be more spinach than anything else. Mm. Mm. Oh, yummy. The egg and the bacon combo with that healthy spinach thrown in. Is there cheese in there too? No, it's just some sour cream. So it's ah. like a creamy... Creamed spinach with bacon almost. It's worth having come up here to deliver some papers to have to taste this. Mm. Mm. It is really good. A crunch of that bacon and even the spinach, it just gives so much body to the egg cup. 
Have you, uh, I wish I had seen it in the cup because right now it looks like it's been demolished and served on the plate. It looks like a omelette or a frittata or something. Yeah, but it's amazing. Yeah, it's a proper standing piece. Anyway, I guess my father is giving this the horns up. Absolute. Awesome. Mm. And perfect breakfast. One thing, no clutter, no toast, no jam, nothing, just this. Works at every level. All right, and with that, I'm going to say goodbye and I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep cooking. And if I'm lucky, you might see me too. Ah. We'll try and get him on. Hit that like button if you want to see more of my dad. Mm. Hey folks, if you're looking for quick, easy and delicious keto recipes, I have two new keto ebooks available. One is a three ingredient and one is a five ingredient book. These are digital copies. I'll link them in the video description box just below this video. Pick up a copy if you're looking for a cool recipe book.